Hi everybody, this is Anne. In this video, I share all the sushi dishes at Conveyable Sushi Resan Kurachi. Let's go! Today, I came to Kurachi. Kurachi is one of the most famous conveyable chain in Japan. This sushi is pocket friendly fly, so many people come over here to enjoy sushi. And in this video, I'll see all sushi in Kurachi. Once you watch this video, you see all sushi and which sushi is the best for you. Okay, let's get started. Please subscribe my channel. Okay, this is the menu. We can order the sushi by tablet. And there are some categories over here. Fair, monthly, side menu shoot, nigiri others, gunkan sushi, desserts, drinks, others, alcohol products. All the menu is pretty tough to eat for me. So in this video, I'll share nigiri and others. So let's look at the all nigiri and sushi in this product. So let's see, next one is the lineup of tuna and amber jack and salmon and some white fish meat and scallop and the other special beef sushi I guess and some other gunkan or loose sushi and other gunkan. Gunkan is a seafood on rice and wrapped by seaweed and loose sushi too and the last one is eggs large seafood loads. So from 11 to 19, I order all of sushi. Let's go. For your information, the the English menu menu one is over here, and the last one is number 19. So let's quick briefly check what kind of sushi is over here. So fair monthly is only limited edition at the southern spot. So you might find your favorite one over here. This is only special, so you miss some others. And side menu said it's noodles, special noodles and some side dishes. Yeah, I guess it's deep fried. Desserts look nice too. We have some cream puff or some cakes over here. And some coffees and drinks, beverage, some alcohol, beer, shochu, highball, and miso soup. This is pretty much about the menu at Kurashi. So let's get some nigiri others. I start with number 11 and also I order each kind of sushi from here, one by one. Let's do this. Because we got some strategy at sushi lesson, so at some conveyor based sushi lesson, conveyor is not working anymore, but at Kurashi, conveyor is still working and sushi is moving on the conveyor. This is really good. And also, you might see some big clapon game. Big clapon game is kind of, you know, it's a capsule toys over here. When we eat sushi, empty sushi dish are available. So we can put it into the southern spot and we can get the lottery. Once we win the game, we can get small prize for this. But I don't know the possibility of winning game of big clapon. It was in the mystery. But this is amazing. Once we pay 10 yen for each dish, we can win the games every three times. So this is really reasonable and it's great to try. But in this video, I'm not gonna do this and we can see the possibility of how many times we can win the games through the video. Let's do this. But this is really good trial, especially for family because kids really love to play game and win the games. And of course, once we win the game, we can get small prize. This is a good souvenir from Japan. We normally take sushi from the conveyor, but once we order by the tablet, we got a special line up above the conveyor, so we can directly take sushi from over there. Okay, let's start having sushi. Let's order it. Okay, first of all, I take all of this menu over here. So I take Etuna, order, and let's keep going. Etuna, salt. Arbakuo, Shina Green Onion Sushi, It's Tuna Fari again, and Fari Thick Makalo. Oops, I have to wait for that because maximum number of orders has to be 6. So I have to wait for sushi for a while. I just got 6 different kind of sushi. Let's keep ordering them. I came up to Fari Thick Makalo, so let's do sardine. Post Makalo, this is my favorite. And aged fugu, potafish. And go to next. 
and young yellow tail and thick sliced young yellow mackerel and let sea bleed no more so wait for a while more wasabi is also on the conveyor so we can take some wasabi over here and take it and dip yourself by yourself if you like so i got 12 different sushi it's magnificent look at this these are so amazing it looks so gorgeous i don't know which one i start from but let's eat it with orders with the menu because i get confused so i start with aged marinated tuna i guess this one okay i take aged marinated tuna and i need to tidy up a little followed by orders okay this is aged tuna and also i guess this is aged tuna with salt and i guess this is thick sliced young wheel okay and let's see boy these are order for sushi that i ordered okay let's have it okay this is a sushi that i ordered these are 12 dishes over here so i start from aged tuna and one by one let's do this okay this is already seasoned i guess it's because it's marinated so just i have it by itself Mm. Mm. Wow, tuna is so tasty. Mm. It tastes really rich of red meat of tuna, and it's slightly seasoned, so I don't need to put any soy sauce. Mm. This is really good. Tuna is the best fish in Japan. Okay, let's move on to next tuna. This is salted tuna. Color is pink and really beautiful. Mm. It's very good. It tastes simpler than marinated one, but we can enjoy natural flavor of tuna meat. This is good. Mm. It's so tasty. I don't need to put any sauces over here. Okay, the next one is albacore. I guess this is also tuna, but it's different types of tuna, I guess. So I need soy sauce over here. So we can put soy sauce on the onto sushi and have it. Itadakimasu. Mmm, this is good. It's actually tastes strong of tuna. This is really good. The texture is actually slightly softer than other two, the previous one, but it tastes really rich. Depending on the people, it could be better than others. This is really good. Mm. Next one is minced tuna meat. Tuna is minced and topped on rice. Okay, just dip it onto the, the soy sauce. Wow! Mm. It's so tasty, amazing! Glam tuna meat is so smooth, but it tastes even denser. Yeah, minced meat is so good, it's so tasty. And the first four plates are only 1500 yen, every pair is 1500 yen, but this is 220 yen. And aged tuna with salt, so I can directly have it, but it's thick and slightly bigger than other sushi. Because and I got only one piece for one plate, so this is quite interesting. Mm, wow, it's so funny and so good. Mm. It's melty in the mouth, it's absolutely better than other foods. Because it's like, it's really, even though it's really thick, it's so funny and so melty. I understand why it's only one piece for one dish and it's really thick and so nice. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is makado. I guess it's marinated by vinegar, I guess. Mmm. Makaro, this makaro, we call it shime saba, and it's really tasty. Because it's marinated in vinegar, it tastes sour, but it's not too strong. It's slightly tastes sour, and it's really good refreshment for sushi. So if you like light taste or sour taste of sushi, this makaro is really good. The next one is sardine. Makaro, sardine, and horse makaro, these are really good for refreshment. It tastes really fresh, and we normally put with some grated ginger grated ginger on top we don't put wasabi on here we usually put grated ginger sardine meat is really thick 
it's realistic in real shop. It tastes completely different than tuna meat. It's more like refresh. It tastes refresh and so chewy. Wow, it's really good. Let's keep eating. Let's keep eating. Next one is horse makalo. Horse makalo is very similar with sardine, but this is chewier. And I guess it tastes richer than um sardine. Mm. This is really good. Horse makalo is called aji in Japanese, and this is really famous fish in Japan. So it's really tasty. We usually go there to eat, but we can have it as low fish, like sushi. Mm. Good, good, good. Okay, next one is aged fugu. A uh, fugu is called puffer fish in English. It's something like jelly on top. I guess it's sour taste of jelly, jelly on top. I guess it's 150 yen, but it's only one piece. That means it tastes really good. Mmm, warm. Jelly tastes soy sauce and something like sour wow it tastes so refreshed this is good it's so chewy this is so tasty Popo fish is really good and next one is, i guess it's hamachi or buri it's young yellow tail this is also very common fish in japan it's really fatty especially in the winter time mm. So melty, it's so funny. I love young ear tail fat. Wow, it's so good. And coming next is even thicker young ear tail. Yeah, young slice, thin slice young ear tail was the other guy. It's funny enough, but this must be much better. Mm, wow. Mm. It's full of happiness in my mouth. This is real good. Mm. But as you can see, this is 700 yen and this is thicker one is 220 yen. So it has to be tastier than the thin rice one. I understand that. And the last dish for the first time is sea bleem. Sea bleem is called Thai. This is also very common fish, especially for sushi. It tastes really simple because it's white fish. Mm. It tastes lighter than other sushi, but it's really chewy and really tasty. Okay, I already had all dishes for the first time, so let's finish it up. I just had all of them, and I got 12 plates all together. I got 12 plates on total. And I want to try Big Clapon game, but every five dishes, one, two, three, four, five. I can challenge big cup on game. So it's better to order three more dishes. And I want to try all the sushi in Kalashi, but I'm already the early food now. So I'm gonna order three more dishes for today, and I'm mean coming back tomorrow and eat lots more, lots more sushi. So let's order three more dishes to end up a fast day. So I came up to let's see names and three more dishes. So I go to use marinated sea bling and also bonito with salt with use easy sauce and also some shrimp. This is all for pasta. Let's eat it. I got extra three sushi dishes. One is red sea bling with marinated with yuzu, citrus, and also bonito with yuzu sauce. And very common one, shrimp. This is my favorite. Okay, let's have sea bling with yuzu sauce. It looks very uncommon looking, you know. We normally have sea bling by itself, not with yuzu citrus. Wow, mm. it tastes amazingly the flesh and also it's so fragrant over using citrus. This is really good. Sea bling tastes pretty light. That's why I use matches really good. And the next one is use again, but this time with bonito. 
the surface of bonito is slightly greased, so it's slightly cooked the, at the very surface of the bonito. And I don't know if it's really good or not. Okay, itadakimasu. Mmm, wow. Mm. This is also really good. It tastes really good. But compared to Sibone, it less tastes refresh. But it's still, it's fragrant and also the user tastes really good. This is very common type, very, 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 very ordinary type of shulen in sushi. And this is my favorite. I really love shulen. It's boiled shulen. Thank you, Mas. Mm. Shrimp is great. And it's really chewy. This is my favorite. If you come to Japan, I really would like you to try shulen. Shulen sushi is my best one. Yeah, of course, other sushi is really good too. So let's finish up and play pick up all. Can you see? There's a hole on the table. To play big club on, we need five dishes. And I can play three times for today. So let's do this. Do you think I can win the game for today? And we see the possibility of how many times we can win with this with these dishes and also in the video. Once I put dishes over here, the big up room game will automatically start on the tablet. So look at the tablets next. Okay, let's do this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I got it. Wow, I was really surprised. Normally, it doesn't happen so easily, you know. Maybe five times, six times, seven times, ten times, then we can win the game. But every time I come to Kurashi and every time I play Pikrapon game, the first game I win, you know? It's really good though. And then we can get prize like in the capsule. And this time we can get like Japanese toy Chikawa. You know, Chikawa's like sticker tape. We can get Chikawa's tape. So it's really nice for your kids. This item is only limited edition in Kurashi. And we can get it only from Big Kirkon. So when you come to Kirkon, you must play Big Kirkon. And if it is lucky, you can get one of it. And this time, I got Chikawa goods. But every time I come here, it's slightly different. So when you come over here, you might get the other for us. I got one of Big Kirkon, so let's try 10 more dishes. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. And let's see. Right? It's normally like this, you know, I lost the game. This is just common time. That's why I really surprised. Okay, last one. Let's play this. Two, three, four, five. And let's see the result. Well, this time it's working. <laughs> it's so fun. I easy lost. Okay, for the first day, I have 15 dishes and also I play three big club on games and I won one game. And I check out and also see the price of the sushi. At the very end of this video, you see how much cost we have to pay for all sushi in Kurashi. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, this is the second day to eat all the sushi in Kurashi. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's keep going. This is the second day. I had two shrimp for the first day. And so I start from low shrimp. And on the first day, I had normal size of rice. And I had only 15 dishes at the time. 
so I have to eat more. Please give me some excuse. I take half size of rice, then I order. Okay, let's keep going. Shrimp, avocado, half the rice bowl. And also red shrimp with yuzu peel. And this is also half size of rice. Okay, I completed two pages. The next page. And on the first day, I got some salmon over here, but uh, it's blank, so I think it's out of water. So maybe next time I come over here, I'm gonna have it. So let's keep going. Then the salmon with half size order. An extra fatty salmon, half size order. And some more, and some more salmon and mayo. It's only maximum number of orders, so let's get back and wait for the wait and wait for sushi. Yes, I just got past six dishes, but I have to wait a little while. So let's keep ordering and wait some more sushi and then eat. Okay, I ordered two extra fatty salmon. So salmon next one is salmon and mayo order and salmon with onion. Of course, it's half size. And extra fatty salmon and octopus. So next one is I guess is octopus squid something like that. Low octopus with shiso leaves and low octopus as well. Then I complete this page and let's go to next page and flying squid. Okay, it's already maximum number, so let's wait for a while. Okay, I got all twelve dishes. This is a fast twelve dishes for second day. Let's start eating and enjoy sushi together. Okay, I start with low shrimp for the first dish of the second day. I take I put some soy sauce over here and itadakimasu. This is low shrimp. It looks it's similar with boiled shrimp. I guess it's a shrimp. It's completely same one. Mmm, wow, wow. This is here again. Boshin is like harder, but this is more like softer and chewier and really good hub. The one more thing is half size rice is really nice. It's great size to eat. I can have double plates for this today. So I'm trying to eat sari dishes for today. This is really good. Mm. Even if you can eat much, once you eat half size of rice, you can eat a lot. The next one is very unique one. Avocado, mayo and some sliced onion and shrimp. Okay, this is it's so gorgeous. I usually have just sushi, not with like avocado or like mayo or like sliced onion. But this is really good. Mayo with shrimp is so tasty, and avocado makes it even better. This is really good. And next one is red rice plum. This is really big. It's much bigger than just other had just normal plum. It's almost double size, and it's low, so it must be really chewy and it's really thick. This is really good. It looks marvelous. Okay, itadakimasu. Wow. Mm. wow, wow, this is so tasty, red passion tastes really good, it's soft yet chewy, I really love this popping texture, it's absolutely better than normal shrimp, yeah, this is really good. Next one is red last shrimp with yuzu just. the plain red shrimp was really good, with this yuzu just, it must be really fragrant. Mm. Wow, mm. it is really the fresh of Yuzu Citrus. This is also really tasty, but I think just plain that last shrimp is good for me. Okay, I just finished eating plums, four different types of plums. The next category is salmon. Let's do this. This is just ordinary style salmon. I think you really know about salmon. Okay, itadakimasu. Mm. It's something like smoky. It tastes a little rich of salmon. This is so tasty. 
And the next one is large size of bodies. Um, looks really good. It's simmering. It's brilliant. It must be so tasty and so fatty. Take mass. Mm, wow. Salmon meat is so thick. Mm, it's so chewy and thick. Really good. As for me, compared to normal salmon, fatty salmon is much better. It's really tasty. And the salmon fat is so good and so meaty. It's really good. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, salmon with mayo. I'm not sure salmon with mayo is good or not. Mm. Mm, mayonnaise tastes very really good. If you love mayonnaise, it's really good to have with salmon. But if you don't like it, just have it plain salmon. It's better, I guess. And some other thing is, I already have seven dishes and seven different types of sushi, and I can eat lots and lots of more. Half size of sushi, it's really good. Okay, let's keep going. And next one is salmon with mayo and slash onion. I think it's slightly similar with the one before. Like mouse. Mmm. Onion is so fresh. So comparison about normal salmon and salmon with mayo and salmon with mayo and slash onion. The one thing is, I guess, it's for me, in my opinion, the pure salmon. The plain salmon is the best one, and the second place is salmon with mayo and sliced onion, and the last place is salmon with mayo. So these are pretty much the same, so it depends on your favor. Okay, next one is extra large size fatty salmon. This is completely the same the one I had before. The difference is only number of pieces. So I just cut it and skip and go to the next. Mm. Salmon meat is so thick. Oh, this is so tasty. Mm. So which salmon do you think is the best for you? Just give me a comment. And my one is extra fatty salmon. This is really tasty. So next part is octopus. Octopus is very famous sushi in Japan. And I got boiled octopus and also low octopus. So next one is boiled octopus. Mm. It's so true and good. Mm. The taste of octopus explodes all over the mouth. This is so good. It tastes really simple, but it tastes really rich of octopus. And it's really chewy. The next one is low octopus with shiso leaf. Shiso leaf is perilla. It's really famous condiment to have it with sushi. Okay. It tastes really fresh. Mm. Mm, mm. Because this is low octopus, it's much chewier than boiled octopus. And it's really soft. This is really soft. And shiso leaves taste really fresh. Low octopus with shiso leaves taste really good. But I have to compare with low octopus without shiso leaves. Okay, this is just normal low octopus. Mm, mm. This is really chewy and really soft, but it's really hard to bite it off. So it's a long thing for me, it's a boiled octopus because I'm really used to it, and low octopus with sea solid. The last place is low octopus. These are pretty much the same, but I really love to have boiled octopus. Okay, let's finish up eating and order some more. Okay, let's keep ordering. Next number menu is 14, and I start with blind squid. Okay, flying split is very famous sushi dish in Japan and with shiso leaf and spear squid and squid with ginger and uh, this is shells part and this is arc shell okay let's order arc shell and extra large scallop and I think I already had six dishes so let's wait for why my sushi is coming over here. I got six extra dishes and I can order across. So let's keep going and the next one is there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting food now, so I take 20 dishes and then take some less for while. So this is a number 20. So I order it and it's not for while. Just take some plate. Okay, let's start eating. 
first one is flying squid. Squid is very common sushi in Japan and it's slightly squat. This is really good. Mm. Wow. Mm. This is so good. Squid sometimes is really hard and so chewy, but this is so soft and chewy. It tastes slightly sweet of squid. This is really good. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Next one is flying squid with shiso leaf. I guess it tastes really fresh. Mm. Mm. This is also tasty, but I prefer to have without shiso leaf. Squid is, this is good enough already. And next one is spear squid. It's slightly, the surface is slightly different and also it got so much squat on it. Mm. This squid is slightly harder than flying squid, but it's really chewy and something like popping texture. This is really good. I really love to have slightly harder texture. I really love it. this kind of texture. It's like bum, bum, bum. This is really good. And the spear squid with some ginger. So it's a comparison between wasabi or ginger. Which one is better? Mm. Mm. Squid with ginger is really good. It tastes really fresh. Without ginger or with ginger, these are pretty much the same. But flying squid or spear squid, which one's better? I think spear squid is better for me because I love harder texture. But this is soft and chewy one is also really good. Okay, next part is shells. The first one is arc shell. This is also pretty common seafood in Japan. Mm. It's really milky and so nice. And it's so crunchy. I love this harder texture. You know. The next one is scallop. Okay, it's the like small scallop are uh, full of on rice. It stops so much. Okay, I take one of it and take some scallop over here. Oh, it's all dropped. It's full fellow full on that. Okay, take one. Mm. Scallop is so milky and creamy. Mm. This is nice. Scallop is so good. It's so tasty. Mm. The scallop is so amazing. It's so milky. Mm. 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 And coming next is milk. Okay, this is very similar with Akshaya, but I think this is much more crunchier. Mm. It's crunchy, but it's really soft. Mm. And the taste is really dense. This is really good. If you love shells, these parts are fantastic. The next coming next is abalone. This is really good. It, this is also really crunchy and good to have with sushi. Wow. Mm. It's really good. It's so crunchy. Mm. Abalone is normally very expensive seafood, but we can have only 300 yen. This is real decent and good. Okay, let's finish up dishes. Okay, I just had 20 dishes over here and I'm really full now. I couldn't make it 30 dishes at once. So let's put it into the hole and play bigger pong game. First five dishes of second day, let's put it to the hole and see the result of bigger pong game. One, two, Three, four, five, and what's gonna be? Wow, I thought I won the game, but I, it's, I lost it. This is a way, this is a normal situation to play big up on game. This is as usual. Okay, for the second time, let's put it five more dishes. And play big up on game. See? I can't make it. It's really hard to win the game. Okay, five more dishes. Start time. I will win. I hope I can win. Wow, he's so fast. He's really running so fast. And I lost it again, right? Okay, last five dishes. Okay, four times. This time I wanna really win the game. Let's see. 
yes, I got the. Wow, this is the rainbow. This is really unique. Wow, yeah, yes, I got. I won the game. I'm so lucky. So I got a capsule again, and this is Chikawa stickers tape, I guess. But different color and different types of stickers tape is really good. I'm lucky. I just had 20 dishes, I'm really pretty, so I go outside and take some break and come back later and to have some more sushi. And I think I cannot have that much, so I hope I can have 10 more dishes extra. And I came up to menu number 14 and also came up to Avalon, so I'm gonna start with Kongai for the next. And some more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine dishes altogether. So total is ten dishes. So I finish up menu number fifteen when I come back later. So I'm gonna go outside and have some work or take some nap. And see you later. Hi again. Welcome back. And actually, I need to advertise. This is actually day three. After I ate sushi on second day and I came back, that was really, really, really busy. So I gave up eating sushi on that day. So I switched the day and I came back again. So this is actually day three. Okay, let's get started. So let's check the menu. On the second day, I miss extra large seared salmon belly. So I take this one for the first dishes on third day. And the order, of course, I get the half rice and order. And the next piece is I get seared salmon belly. But actually these are pretty much the same, so I skip for this time. And I came up to Avalon for the last time, so I take Kunga Ale. And also it is keep going extra large size eel. Japanese eel is called Unagi, this is very tasty. And keep going flat fish wheels cap. And flounder fin. And the flounder fin without chiso leaves. Okay, I think I already ordered six dishes, so let's wait for a while. I got six dishes what I ordered, so let's get some more. I ordered two flounder fin, so I ordered hamburger steak next. So no and beef with tasty sauce. And the fatty black Iberi compo and Japanese omelette called tamagoyaki and tempura, showing tempura sushi this is interesting and seaweed and sea urchin roll okay, it looks very nice okay, I ordered extreme dishes already so let's get started for eating okay, I just have sushi let's start eating for third day let's get it okay, the first one is seared salmon belly sushi Look at this, it's slightly seared, it's cleared on the surface. And salmon belly is so fat. Okay, itadakimasu. Mmm, mmm. This is so good. Salmon is really chewy. And salmon is so fatty. And so the salmon fat is really melty. And because it's slightly seared, so it's regular too. This is really good. The skin of salmon is really crispy. Okay, let's eat. Konga air. Konga is also really tasty sushi. I need something like sweet sauce for Konga air, and I think it's sweet sauce is on the conveyor, so I have to wait for a while. So before then, let's eat different one. This is air, you know, Japanese air called unagi. We can have unagi. Unagi is usually a very expensive dish, but we can have very reasonable price at Kurashi. This is amazing! Look at this, it looks really good. Mm, wow. mm. Nagi meat is so soft and this part is so good. It's amazingly tasty. It's only one piece of nagi, but this is my recommendation. This is really good, really good. Some sauce and also wasabi are moving on conveyor, so you can take whatever you want. I thought sweet sauce is on Kumbaya, so it's not coming over here. So let's eat Kongaya. Kongaya is called Anago. This is also a really famous sushi dish in Japan. Mm. 
Konga is really soft and it's really tasty. But it's unagi is much tastier and Konga is really similar with unagi. But it's less oilier and less tastier. Okay, next one is blood fish. I guess this is hirame. So let's have it. Mmm. Wow. Blood fish is so tasty. Mm. It's very similar with Sibri. But it's less chewier and this is softer. This is really good. And next one is Tlandafe with Shiso leaves. Shiso is Pelia. And this is called Engawa. Engawa is really famous uh, in Japan. And this is one of my favorite too. Mm. Wow. Engawa is so tasty. It's soft yet chewy, but it's really milky. Yeah. And next one is without shiso leaves. This actual meat is same as the one before. Mm. Mm. Having flanafin with shiso leaves, it tastes refreshed slightly, but having flanafin itself is really milky and so fatty. Okay, coming next is hamburg steak. You know hamburg? Hamburg is a very famous dish, Japanese dish in Japan. It's kind of minced meat and grilled. Okay, itadakimasu. We got, we, got, we got some sauce on it and with mayonnaise. Okay, itadakimasu. Mm. This is very casual style hamburg steak. Even though you don't like seafood, you can come over here and enjoy dishes as classy without any seafood. Mm. With some meat dishes. This is really good. Next one is tamagoyaki, Japanese omelette. Japanese omelette is also a really famous sushi dish in Japan. And uh, when I was a kid, I really love tamagoyaki. It's called tamagoyaki. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mm. Omelette tastes slightly sweet. Mm. And it's really soft, but it's really dense. This is so good. Mm. Okay, let's keep eating. The next one is beef. I guess this is short lived with some special sauce for sushi. Wow. This is really good. This is short lived sushi. And sauce is slightly sweet, yes, salty. This is really good. And next one is Iberian pork belly sushi. Mmm. Wow. I thought the beef one is better. But this is really tasty and so vegan. Low single is fantastic. Coming next is hand low sushi. We can have it with this sushi by hand. And this time I got deep fried shrimp. It's called tempura ebi. And I got some sauce. I guess it's imitation club with some mayo between dry seaweed and rice. Okay, let's have it. I take my hand and eat it. Mmm. 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 Tempura is really crispy and hot. I guess it's just cooked at the restaurant. This is very really nice. And shrimp is so plump. This is really good too. And the sauce, something like with mayo. This is a really good accent for tempura and also rice and dressy with. This is very really good. And the last dish for my first order is also hand low sushi. But it's with sea urchin. It looks amazing. I also got fine fish low and something mixed up with sea urchin and others. Okay, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. This is amazingly good. It tastes so rich of sea urchin, uni. I guess uni was in yellow sauce. And then also I got fine fish low, so it tastes really crunchy. If you love sea urchin, this hello sushi is my recommendation. This is very good. Okay, let's finish up leftovers and I get some more. I finished all my dishes for my first order. This is it, 12 dishes. And I think I can have extra, so I take 8 more dishes. So let's get it. I think I made seared salmon berry on a first day, so let's get this one. The first half size of rice on order. Okay, let's start from here, menu number 16, and stuffed sushi. Okay, coming next is shrimp mayo gunkan. Gunkan is rice is topped with something other ingredient on top, and also loved by seaweed. Okay, the salad shrimp mayo, and the next one is salad. Tuna salad. 
and seafood salad. Come my own. Okay, wait for a while for more. So I ordered to seafood salad. So let's order corn mayo for the next. And squid with okula. I got extra eight more sushi dishes for second order. So let's eat it. Okay, I got eight extra dishes. So let's eat it. So let's eat them up and finish end up the day for Saturday. The first one is seared pork salmon belly. I guess this is completely the same the one before. Look at this, salmon fat is simmering. It looks really good. Mm. Mm. This is good. The you know, surface is slightly seared, so it's really crispy. Mm. But salmon meat is so chewy. Okay, next one, inari sushi. Inari sushi is sweet deep fried tofu. And then we put rice inside. This is the famous light snack in Japan. We don't need to put also the sauce over here. It's already seasoned, like it tastes slightly sweet. Mm. Okay, coming next is shrimp with mayo gunkan with some cucumber. Mm, mm. Shrimp with mayo is amazing. It's good. And next one is salad gunkan. I get some chopped cucumber and imitation club and some other veggies over here and mix up with some mayo. Chopped cucumber works really good. It's so crunchy. And coming next is tuna salad gunkan. I get some chopped cucumber over here and some tuna with mayo. Mm. Boiled tuna flake tastes fantastic. And coming next is seafood salad gunkan. I guess imitation club and frying fish low and also some cabbage and chopped onion are top with mayo. Okay, thank you. This is good food. Mm. These three salad gunkan, tuna salad, salad gunkan, and seafood salad gunkan, these are pretty much the same. But the texture and taste it are slightly different. These are last two sushi. And one is cold mayo, mayonnaise again. So I'm eating mayo, mayo, mayo. I'm kind of sick of this already. So, but it's, I have to, uh, but I have to finish all of them. So let's see it with cold mayo. Mm. Cold tastes really sweet. Mm. It's right to taste different. This is good. Mm. This gunkan is the last dish for today. I'm really full now. I have to finish them all. Okay. The next one is okura gunkan. I think some kebab and also okura and some seafood squid or octopus is on top of it. It's really slimy. Do you know that? Have you eaten okura? Okura is really sticky, slimy taste texture, but it's really tasty vegetables. Mm. 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 Okura gungan is really good. I was kind of sick of having mayo, so it tastes really refreshed. It slightly tastes sour, and okura is really crunchy, and some squid or octopus is really chewy. This is great gungan, I really love it. These are leftover on Saturday, so I'm gonna finish them up and let's call it a day. I finished 20 dishes on a Saturday. Do you think is it really good to have 20 dishes on a day? I'm really full up. Let's play a pickle pong game. Okay, for the first five dishes, okay, I'll put it into the hole. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play a pickle pong. Yeah, I lost again. This is as usual. Okay, five more extra dishes. This is the second time for pickle pong. Last time I got rainbow golden pig, so what's gonna happen this time? I was about to win, but it flies away. Okay, and I lost again. Yep. So time, let's play the platform game. And what's next? 
Whoa. Yeah, I got it. I got it again. I won the big Philippon game again. I'm so lucky. I got one cup, so and I'm gonna open it later. So let's play big Philippon another time. Okay, this is the first time to play big Philippon game on a third day. Okay, let's play. Wow, shooting again. I I could win once again. You know though. And somebody blocks it out. This is very usual thing. And I lost. So I won once and I lost three times. This time I go something like colder for I think it's chopsticks. It's a special product from Class C. It's really cute. I think it's cat walk fox. This is blind from Big Lapon game on a Saturday. I'm really lucky. You want it? And today I got 20 dishes and total amount of price is 3520 yen, including tax. Okay, how was on the third day? I have 20 dishes extra and I guess there are some more 20 around dishes extra so I have to come back again on the first day. And the last time, I didn't tell you the last time about the result of Big Lapon game. And today I played four times again, I won one game. So the possibility is more like is 25%. So on total I played 11 times and I won three times. So it's so far the possibility of winning of pick up on game is about 25%. It's quarter possibility. It's really good at percentage and it's really good to find. So I'll leave for now and come back on a fourth day. Okay, see you later. Hi again, I came back. This is fourth day, so let's keep eating sushi. I came up to Squid and Okula on the previous day, so I start from Skiakisa roll for today. And I take with Skialion and order the large salmon, no, salmon caviar, one piece, and salmon roll. And spicy cold inert, and cold meat with Pons Glee, Jule. I think I can order one more sushi for the last tuna UK. Order, okay. So this is only six pieces of sushi, so wait for a while. These are my first six dishes on the fourth day. They look really good, right? Okay, let's keep ordering plus six more dishes. Okay, let's keep ordering. And next one is tuna and green onion. Order. And tuna roll with tasty sauce. And next one is tuna with grated yam. And I can order three more dishes, so tuna pickled daikon roll for next. The next one is tuna with natto roll. And the last one is tuna gunkan toriyo. That's all my first 12 dishes. Okay, let's wait for a while. Tsukiyaki is a very famous dish in Japan. It's simmered beef. It tastes sweet and salty. Mmm. Wow. Mm. It tastes very familiar for me. This is very tasty, simmered and tender beer. This is good. Okay, next one is Ikura, salmon caviar. This is very good. It looks marvelous. It's, it has popping texture and I put some soy sauce in it. Itadakimasu. It looks really nice. It must be tasty. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. Tasty juice comes out a lot from the egg. This is the other game. The popping texture is marvelous. Next one is also salmon caviar, but this is less, you know, amount of ikura. But we can have two pieces. And I think that amount of salmon caviar is the same as the one before. I'll put some soy sauce over here. And itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Because cucumber is soaked with ikura, so that it's really crunchy, and the juice from ikura is amazing, so good. And coming next is, I guess, is chanja gunkam. So chanja is from Korea, and it's quite pretty much spicy things. Okay, itadakimasu. Mm, wow. I guess something like squid or octopus, some chewy seafood is topped on it, so that it's really chewy and tasty, and 
it looks really dead and spicy but it's not that much if you like spicy food you can easily have it this is really good next one is cold meat with pond jule pond is really famous um seasoning in japan it's soy sauce based sour jule i think i don't need to put any soy sauce because it's pond is right here itadakimasu mmm wow mm. this is so tasty Ponzu tastes really the flesh and I love this sourness. Coat milk. It's so creamy and so milky. This is so good. I didn't expect that this is so tasty. I've never tried this before. This is amazing. Okay, coming next is minced tuna with some soft boiled egg. We call it UK. I don't know how to say it in English, but it's okay. Okay, itadakimasu. Mmm. Wow, this is so good. Minced meat is lightly seasoned by soy sauce, I guess. And the egg yolk is really mild and so rich. The combination between minced tuna with egg yolk is marvelous. This is so good. Okay, next one is minced meat. We call it negitoro, but it's slightly different from the one before. It doesn't look minced meat is seasoned. Okay, it like mass. I put some soy sauce and egg. Okay, it like mass. Mm, mm. Mint tuna is really smooth. This is regular really and tastes so rich of maguro tuna. And it tastes very familiar for me because this is very famous um, ingredient for sushi. If you love tuna meat, I can strongly recommend this. Negitaro. And coming next, coming next, coming next is also I guess minced meat. But I, it looks like it's seasoned already. And it's roughly chopped. So the one before negitoro is very smooth and it's smashed but this is like smashed negitoro minced meat okay itadakimasu mm, mm, mm. i guess it's already seasoned so it tastes really rich and also it's saltier if you love smooth one negitoro is better and this is more like it's more tasty one or saltier but these are not much difference between that so it's depend on you Coming next is tuna with grated yam. I thought this is negitoro too, it's minced tuna, but it's, I guess it's roughly chopped tuna with yam. So this yam is really smooth and sticky and so smooth. It's itadakimasu. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Mm. Grated yam tastes really metal. This is really yeah, good. Yeah. And combination between tuna and grated yam, this is marvelous. We sometimes have yamakakedon, which means maguro with grated yam. This is also a very famous combination in Japan. So, this is very familiar to me. It's, this is so good. Okay, next one is oshinko with maguro tuna. Oshinko is pickled Japanese radish. This yellow thing is normally very crunchy and great side dish for Japanese meat. Okay, itadakimasu. Mm. Oshinko is very crunchy. This is great accent for sushi. Tuna with grated yam is really smooth and mild. But this is more like crunchy and great popping texture. This is good too. And here comes the most disgusting food in Japan, which is natto. Natto is fermented soybean. It's very healthy food, but it's really sticky and sometimes it's really smelly. So most foreign people do not like this. It's actually they hate it that much it has very unique taste and texture okay itadakimasu but for me this natto is really tasty food itadakimasu mm, mm. mm, so good it's sticky and it has typical taste of natto and it's smelly but this smell and texture is marvelous for me and also the great combination between natto and tuna meat this is good if you want to try, just try and give me the comment what you think. This is the last dish for my first 12 dishes, and which is Torio. It's tuna with great yam, tuna with Japan rice, tuna with cucumber. I already shared two of them before, so let's try cucumber with tuna minced meat. I guess it's a just very normal um, gunkan. Mm. Tuna tastes really great, and cucumber is very crunchy and good. Okay, I just finished 12 dishes on the fourth day. 
So let's order 12 dishes more. Let's keep going. Okay, I came up to Tuna Gunkan Torio. So let's start with Natto Gunkan. And order Natto and Mountain Yam. And spicy coat low with glided yam. And coat low, mayonnaise low. Mayonnaise again. And spicy coat low with small ligament. And one more I can order, so let's crown my low. I'm really afraid of having mayo so much. And I already ordered six dishes, so wait for a while. My dishes came over here, so let's order extra six dishes more. I order to club my low, so let's start with club inuts. Okay, next one is club UK. And the single natto low. And tuna low. And tuna and green onion low. And cucumber low. We call it kappamaki. It's really famous sushi low in Japan. I had so many sushi. And I left only three of them. Wow, I'm really impressed. Let's keep eating. I only left three more dishes, so let's keep ordering more. So I take pickle radish low, Grand Street low. We call it kampiomaki. And the last one is party tuna low. And let's eat it and end up today. These are the last 15 dishes at Kurashi. Okay, let's keep eating. First dish is Natto over here. Natto. Natto is I already explained it's fermented soybean. But it's food of natto over here. So I take some soy sauce over here and put it over here. And itakimas. Mmm. Mmm. Natto is so tasty. Mmm. We normally have rice and natto together. So this sushi is marvelous. Next one is also natto again, but with mountain yam. I think this mountain yam is really sticky and smooth. It's good, very good with natto. Mm. Oh. Natto itself is really good, but with mountain yam, it's also good. But I prefer natto itself is better. Next one is glutted yam with mentaiko. Mentaiko is also well known as spicy caviar in the English word. Okay, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mentaiko is not that spicy, it's mildly spicy. And with grated yam, it tastes really mild and so good. Mentaiko is very famous food in Kyushu. So when you come to Japan, it's nice to try mentaiko. Okay, coming next is tarako. It's a kotbo, but it's not a spicy one. And with mayo. And tarako with mayo is marvelous normally. So how about with sushi? Mmm. It's really mild and so mellow. I love this popping texture. I love this saltiness of tarako. This is so tasty. Coming next dish is small ligament with some mentaiko. I guess mix up with mentaiko. Okay, itadakimasu. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is so good. Because I love mentaiko, that's why. And small ligament is part of a scallop. So this is really tasty and so milky. This is good. Coming next and next, next one is club flake with mayo. I already have so many mayo, so I'm sick of it, but I'm not sure which one is good, so I tried everything else. Mm. It's really nice, but I personally think without mayo is better. I already have so much mayo with sushi. Look at this, next one is club inas. This is so unique. Inas is part of like brain in Japanese, like it's top like black cream on top. Okay, look at it, it's so unique. Itadakimasu. Mm, wow. Mm. Club inas tastes slightly different from club meat, but it tastes full flavor of club. This is really good. If you love club things, this is the one you must have. And this is last gunkan, which is club with soft boiled egg. It's UK, club UK. Mmm, no. This is really good. Mm. It's much better than club flake with mayo. Mm. This is better. So I have eight dishes, and last dishes are all about low sushi. 
Let's have it. The first one is single load natomaki. Nato load is so long and so big. Itadakimasu. Mm. It's actually nato gunkan and also nato maki, nato low. It's completely the same, but it's a balance of rice and nato are slightly different. I guess nato low is more balanced than nato gunkan. If you love nato, nato gunkan, we can have it more than roll sushi. So it's better to have nato in the gun nato gunkan. It's the balance is better in nato low. Okay, second roll sushi is tuna roll sushi. Take mas. Mm, mm. Tuna is nicely rolled inside. It's full of tuna inside. Mm, this is really tasty roll sushi. So the difference between roll sushi and nigiri sushi are just only dry seaweed. So if you like dry seaweed, it's better to have roll sushi. If you don't like dry seaweed, you can have only nigiri sushi. And coming next is negitoro sushi, which is minced tuna. Mm. Minced tuna is really tuna and it's really tasty one. Mm. Wow, I'm really fun, but I need to share four more dishes, so let's keep going. Next one is cucumber roll, which is kappamaki. The chopped cucumber is wrapped inside. Mm. It tastes very simple and also it's really crunchy. Mm. This is great vegetable. And next one is vegetable again, which are Japanese radish, Oshinko Maki. I share it on the Gunkan, so I think it's the same one. Take mm. It's very crunchy and spicy sour. This is really good. Okay, next one is Kampyo Maki. This is Gulan Strip Low. Take mas. It's I guess it's sweet. Mm. Gulan Strip tastes nicely sweet. This is the yeah, idea. Yeah. And Kampyo Maki is one of the historical low sushi and also it's really famous for cats. And this is the last sushi at Kurashi, which is fatty tuna low sushi. It's chu toromaki. Take mas. Mm. Mm. Chutoro is really funny and so milky. Wow, it's so tasty. I'm really happy to have Chutoro Maki to finish eating at Kurashi. This is really great lot sushi. Okay, I finished eating and I got 27 dishes over here. I should have ordered 30 dishes to play the Kurapon game, but I couldn't have any more, so I had two extra dishes aside. Okay, so let's play pick up on game five times. Let's go. I have 27 dishes over here, so let's play big up on game. And then I put first five dishes into hole. Okay, let's see what's gonna be. Yeah, I lost. This is as usual. So let's play one more time. So oh, this is extra five more dishes. So let's see the result. Yeah, this is normal. I only saw same. So I only saw so many times. Okay, let's play one more time. Let's keep going. I have five more dishes. Yeah. I lost three in though. This is as usual. Never mind. Let's play one more time. Okay, next five dishes over here. Let's see. Wow, he's really good. I can win today. Okay, last five dishes. This is the five times. This, this is the fifth time for today. I hope I can win. Wow, I won the game! Yeah, yes, I'm so lucky. I'm really happy to have this. This time, I got a uh, Keeling, I guess. It's a special character for Kladshi. It's, I guess, it's Gunkan Cat or something. It's really cute. Don't you think so? How was Sushi at Kladshi? 
I had 82 dishes. This is amazing number and it costs 14,530 yen. I don't know it's pretty much or not. But if you have 15,000 yen, you can have all sushi at Kelsey. I played Vicker Pro games 16 times and I won 4 times. So the possibility is just exact quarter. So 25%. So I think, unless you really want to have prize from Vikrapon, I don't need to pay for an extra game for Vikrapon. We can win the game every 3 times. So, I think standard possibility should be good enough to enjoy Vikrapon game. And every single sushi is amazing. It was so tasty. But my favorite one is just no much chilling or just yellow tail. This is real tasty. But the tuna is the most famous fish in Japan. So when you come to Kurachi in Japan, you must have tuna, it's really tasty. And I hope this video helped your travel while in Japan. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye! I hope you enjoyed my videos. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. Please click like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all for today.